Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here, Culture Shock Collectibles. We are back with a uh, new unboxing video from CGC. Now, this is a customer video. I, I really wish this, this was our video, but um, I mean, obviously it's our video, but I wish it were our books is what I'm trying to say. So we've got a good customer, his name's Tony. I've showed you all some of his books in the past. Uh, these are some really special books. Um, of course, we all know we've had a market correction. So some of these books, when I sent them off, were a lot higher than what they are now, even in the grades. Uh, but, so he did pay a lot for grading, but I think he still did very well. Um, you know, just one of the books. Um, if you were to sell one of the books, you'd cover the grading costs. And uh, I know he purchased most, most of these books way back, you know, like years and years and years ago before before everything, you know, got kind of crazy. So, um, with that being said, let's get into it. Let's show you what's up. And we're gonna start off first with a disappointing book. He didn't realize that uh, one of the books he sent in had a little bit of restoration done to the cover and CGC slapped him with a purple label. It sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess, you know, when you're buying these old books, you really don't know what you can't tell unless you unless you really um, know what to look for. But anyway, so the first book, the one that got the restored grade, is Amazing Spider-Man 131, which is the first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborn and Professor Miles Warren. So we got a 4.0 restored grade. I don't know what the restore, how much the restored knocks off. I know in a 4.0 it's about 500 bucks. We sent these books off for about six, seven months ago, I think. I can't remember exactly, but it was a while ago. Um, so back then, this book, even in this grade, would have been closer to the $1,000 range. So uh, we sent it off on the higher tier. And, uh, you know, now we could have gotten away with sending it on a lower tier. But um, it is what it is. I mean, I'm still used. Overall, I think he's going to be very happy with the results of the of the full submission. So next, let's go to uh, the only DC book that he had. Um, again, this was a lot higher when we sent it off, and everything has kind of come down. But what goes down must come up, right? I mean, we're going to have a resurgence. Uh, who knows if we'll have another crazy boom like we did during COVID and all that. But we'll definitely have, uh, you know, things will start to go up slowly. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll go back to where it normally was. You know, it'll take, take years, but uh, things will go up. So if you're an investor, if you're holding these things for a long time, you don't have to worry about things coming down right now. It's just like the stock market. If you're in it for the 30, 40, 50 years, you know, your stock can go up and down. Uh, but you're not going to cash in until it's at a, at a peak. So, next one is Batman 181. First appearance of Poison, well, first Silver Age appearance of Poison Ivy. Um, no, 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 this is her, just her regular first appearance. Uh, so, first appearance of Poison Ivy. And there's a little pinup picture in there done by Infianto and Anderson. Anyway, the main thing is uh, Poison Ivy, right? And she's going to put Batman against Robin because they both want her. <laughs> you know, she puts out those pheromones, right? But, you know, another great book, another key for anyone, any collector, especially a DC collector, Batman collector, which my friend Tony is a big DC guy, Batman guy. Next up, we'll go with uh, with X Men number four, which is the first appearance of Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Toad, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, and the second appearance of Magneto. He got a two point oh on that one. Not bad, not bad. I mean, he knew he was gonna get low grades on these, but he wanted to get them slapped anyway. Obviously, it's. With these type of books, you want to get them slapped because it's a way of proving that they're authentic. You know, it's a way of getting an exact grade, I mean, an exact price and not having to guess. You know, 
because you all can stand you know you can stand there fighting all day you know oh, it's a two no it's a three it's a four no it's a you know it's a 2.5 well now you know send, send it off to get graded you know exactly you know what the price is and there's no arguing about it next up another great book um Journey into Mystery, number 89, is The Origin of Thor Retold, and it's one of the classic covers. You got a 4.0 on that one. Another amazing book. I think you'll be happy with that grade. And now his two biggest books, which, like I said, with one, if he sold just one of these, he would get his money back. At least with the for the cost of grading. So, Fantastic Four number forty-eight, first appearance of Silver Surfer, cameo Galactus, and it's got uh you know the Watcher comes out and the Inhumans come out. We got a two point oh, that's not bad even in a two point oh. This book would sell as high as fifteen hundred on the fifteen on the high end. About 1100 on the on the low end. I mean, anybody would love to have this book. I would love to have this book. I would love to have any of these books, actually. <laughs> and last but not least, Fantastic Four number 49, which is the first Galactus. Second so, uh, Silver Surfer and first cover for both of them. Iconic, iconic cover, especially right now with Galactus about to come out in the MCU. You know, um, Fantastic Four, we've already talked about Silver Surfer. X Men are going to come into the MCU pretty soon, too. And Scarlet Witch is already in there, even though. Uh, they haven't really touched on her background, mutant background, but she is the daughter of Magneto. Quicksilver's her brother, which I did show that. So, all in all, I think he did very well with his books. Um, he knew he was going to get low to mid grades. But again, the you know what they are for what they are. I mean, he the money's here. I'm sure he's going to be happy with the investment. I know him. He's not going to sell these books. And this guy's got an amazing collection. Um, and he doesn't really sell anything. Unless he's looking to upgrade something. <laughs> or get or go after something that he really wants. He complains about the prices of Amazing Fantasies 15. I tell him, well, just sell some things and buy one before it keeps going up. You know, he definitely has books to trade into one or, or purchase, you know, sell and purchase one. But again, I know him, and he doesn't uh, he doesn't really sell anything. So um, I want to thank again, thank Tony for letting us uh, do this video. Uh, letting us show his books, you know, some some people wouldn't want it, want his their stuff to get shown on video. He's very gracious. Uh, he's a good friend of the of the company. He's a good friend. He's become a friend of mine. Uh, so again, thank you, Tony. Um, if you guys ever need any anybody local here needs any CGC submissions done, let us know. Uh, we can send your books out for you. I mean, you got to be patient though. You got to. We can't control the times. They're getting a little bit better, but they're still, I still have books out that are over a year and a half. Uh, I'm still waiting. So if we do send your stuff off, you gotta, you know, you gotta be patient. That's the only thing. Um, you know, PSA is starting to get better as far as like on card grading, but CGC is still pretty backed up. But all right guys, well, thanks a lot. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Please hit the bell notifications. Uh, please share with your friends and keep an eye out for our next video. Thanks a lot.